With just 19 days left until the end of the legislative session, another dire warning about the sorry state of Illinois finances and the lack of a state budget. Here's CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely. On the northwest side, mariachi celebrate rare bipartisan cooperation, renovation of the Healy-Milwaukee Line metro station. But at the very same time, a serious warning from Springfield. Illinois is on the path to junk bond status if there is no agreement by May 31st. Which means continued absence of a budget will drastically raise the cost of borrowing. According to the state comptroller, this year Illinois will pay more than $700 million in interest on its unpaid bills. That's more than $2 million a day in interest alone. And junk bond status would raise interest rates, pushing those costs even higher. Freericks blamed Governor Rauner for failure to lead. You cannot negotiate a budget while out on the campaign trail. You can't negotiate a budget through press conferences and television commercials. Meantime, the governor blamed Democrats for failure to help business. What we've got to do is grow jobs that will keep our budget balanced, and growing jobs raises family incomes. House Speaker Mike Madigan was scheduled to be at the Metro announcement. Instead, he attended the unveiling of former Governor Pat Quinn's State House portrait. But Madigan handed the governor a potential olive branch, appointing a panel of four Democrats to work on, and we quote, areas of his agenda where compromise can be reached. I think there really is a fruitful compromise to be reached uh, if only everyone decides that they're willing to do it. But as always, Republicans are highly skeptical of the speaker. Senate Minority Leader Christine Redonio called Madigan's move a ploy and a political reaction to progress being made in the Senate. That, of course, is where talks are continuing in search of that so-called grand bargain compromise on the budget. Reporting live in the newsroom, Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Robin Erica. All right, Derek, thank you.